Well, hello and welcome back. It's been a while since we had a video. I'm going to apologize in advance. We're out in the garage. It could get a little noisy. Birds chirping. Hopefully the neighbor's dogs do not come outside. They were out a little bit ago, but they have a couple of noisy, noisy little dogs and I can't stand them. But unfortunately, I have to live with it. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't made a whole lot of videos because it is summer. I like to be outside and these dogs will ruin every video that I make. Guaranteed. Probably this one at some point. So wanted to get that out of the way. But today we have another review video for you. This is an air inflator. I've reviewed a few of these. I actually get a lot of emails, people offering these, but I only review the ones or accept the ones that I think are going to be a good product. And this happens to be one of them. This is made by, I believe it's called Gulu. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's an air inflator, goes up to 160 PSI. This is the GT160 model. And I read some reviews, Amazon reviews. I've opened it. I haven't used it a whole lot yet. I haven't even charged it, so it should have enough charge in it. But on Amazon, it got really good reviews. And I thought, hey, I need another one. Now I'll have one for every car, my car, my work vehicle, my wife's car, so on and so forth. So here's the unit. I have not taken off the actual plastic yet. There we go. It's got an input, which is USB-C. That is charge only. From what I understand, it doesn't say it's an output. And we have a USB output, 5 volt, 2 amps. Of course, then we have our little port for our inflator. We also have a nice user manual, a nice thick one, of course, multiple languages, but it's got some good information in here, like how often does the unit need to be recharged? It says you should recharge it every three months. So if you're gonna leave this in your car and expect it to be charged after six months, that's a possibility that it may not be. It shows you how to care for it. Uh, working noise, 80 decibels within one meter, four to 160 PSI. Hose is 500 millimeters long. And battery capacity is 27.7 watt hour. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. Input port, as we mentioned, USB type C. Output USB type A. Charges in about two hours and it's plus or minus two PSI accuracy. It just gives you some tips and tricks and what have you. So we get the unit, the hose. We have a little carry bag, which I didn't notice until just now. Nice little carry bag. Be sure to use that because I think this is going to go into the Porsche. This is our charging cable. We've got our needle for our basketballs, what have you. Then we've got an adapter and then this is the adapter for the actual, actually it goes straight in there. This would be for pumping up, uh, I don't know, like a, a, a bouncy house. Maybe not a bouncy house, but something similar to that. I think this adapter may be for a Presta. I don't know. I know my bikes have Presta valve, but I don't, I'm not sure exactly what that is for. It appears to go right on the inside of here. So we will figure that out later. Maybe you can just jab that right in there. Not sure. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pump up a soccer ball. And oddly enough, just today, I got a soccer ball for my grandson. He's wanted a new soccer ball, so I ordered it, and it happened to come in today. So we're going to put our little adapter in there. Here is the ball. Let's open it up. And let's see what we are supposed to... So this says 0.5 to 0.7 bar, which you can read bar and PSI. I'm going to use PSI because that's what... I always use. That's what we use here in America. Uh, I think bar is mostly maybe other countries. I'm not sure, but you can use it. It does have the setting. Obviously, we have the bar setting here, so I guess we do use that in America. But uh, 7.3 to 10.2 PSI. So we're going to turn the unit on. Got to hold the button in a little bit. So we could set our plus or minus our PSI here. We're all the way at the 35. Let me see what it is. We've got a light on here as well. So I did forget that to mention that. Pretty neat. One click, two clicks, nice little light. And this is how you change it to different you have presets. So 
kind of presets. PSI for a car. And you've got uh, another car, bigger car, I guess. A bicycle. And then a ball. So this is, we're going to set this at 9 PSI. Set 7.2 to 10. We're going to insert that into the ball. Let me hit the power button. It does vibrate quite a bit. And it stopped right at nine. That might be a little tight for him. Don't know. Don't know anything about soccer. That feels pretty, pretty, feels like it's full, which I guess that's what it's supposed to feel like, so. But obviously it pumps up a soccer ball with no issues at all. And you can see, I haven't charged this yet, and it's at full, full bars. So that's pretty impressive. Let's go to, And you can set this to KPA bar PSI by holding in that button. Next, we are going to test this on a car. So we're going to go, well, I'm going to do this first. So we're going to go out to my truck. We're going to let the air out of the tires, or one of the tires, not all of them, and then see how it works. Now, this is a truck tire, so it's going to take a little bit of time. We will come back. Okay, we are back. It's pretty flat. It's actually really flat. I don't know if you can tell. It might be hard to see on camera. We've got it set at 35, and let's let it rip. Right now it's at 8. So it was pretty much flat. We had it at 6. It started at 6, I believe, or 7. Not bad. Not that loud at all, really. The microphone is about about two feet away. This is right up on it. Three more to go. Surprised it hasn't shut off, honestly. It's warm, but it has not shut off. Most of these small ones will not last. They can't pump up a single truck tire. They can do a car, but not a truck. This is pretty uh, impressive, especially since I didn't even charge it. Two more to go. And I didn't time this right now, but I believe we're at around 14 minutes. But I'll put the total time like in the top or, or something like that. Hopefully you can hear me. One more to go. Still got two bars left on the battery. Should shut off here in a couple seconds, I would imagine, or a minute or so. I think it puts a little extra in there, so when you probably gonna stop right before it hits 36. Usually how these work. Oh, there we go. We got 35 psi. That is impressive.
so far it does everything it's supposed to do. All right, so it's a little warm, especially up here at the connector. We're gonna take it off. And the last thing, well, the last two things we're gonna test. One is the charging ability. Now, so far the only complaint we still have one bar left, by the way. The only complaint is the display and the sunlight is hard to see. It's, you can see it here. It's not real bright. That could be a little bit brighter, but it's not a, not a huge deal. So we've got it plugged into our USB and we are charging our phone. Works like it should. The last thing we're going to test is uh, we're going to shut off all the lights in the garage and we'll test the light just to see how bright it is. By the way, I did look on Amazon. This does have a 7,500 milliamp battery capacity, which I didn't see anything in the instructions. Maybe I missed them, but uh, fully charged, you should be able to do inflate 88 balls, uh, 20 bicycle tires, 18 motorcycle tires, or five car tires. Um, truck, again, that was a big ask, especially right out of the box with not charging it at all. And as we mentioned earlier, it does have four presets. So we've got ball, car, or truck rather, car, bicycle, back to ball. Now, in the ad, it does say one of those is motorcycle. So I suppose you could use one of the cars as motorcycle because they are only one PSI apart. And the presets are kind of what you would typically have. So like a truck, let's say 36, car 35, bike 45, which is normal, and then a, a ball eight. So those are kind of starting points. So if you're just looking to shoot air in your tire, you don't want exact measurement, or don't need an exact measurement, then that is fine. So let's test the light. Okay, we've got all the doors shut. It's pitch black, except for a couple little cracks there at the bottom. And there we go. Here's the light. It's not the brightest light in the world. It is an LED and there is a piece of film that you got to take off there, but it doesn't really make it any brighter without that film. But it will get you in a pinch. If you're working on your car, you can definitely see something if you need to, but it doesn't have a lot of throw, but it's not meant to. This is meant for an emergency. Got to pump up my tire. Can't see the nozzle, what have you. So pretty cool. All right, so it's been about five minutes since we pumped up the truck tire. Then after that, we charged the phone for a minute. And then we also use the light. And it's actually, it's not cold, but it's just warm. It's not hot any longer. So it does cool off rather quickly. Got a little damage right here. This was when I laid it on the curb to inflate the truck tire. I thought that was going to happen, but uh, I'm not worried about that. It's definitely a keeper. So we're going to put it in the arsenal. Like I said, now I've got one for each vehicle. Looks like there's a cooling fan on the bottom, which I probably had covered up a little bit. And it's the fence. And I know I had this one side covered up. That's why I kind of put it on the top. Because um, I'm like, oh, you know, this thing might be getting extra hot. But it didn't really get that hot. It was kind of surprising. And I guess we really put it through its paces with that truck tire and it did not shut off. So I actually recommend this unit. It, it does everything it's supposed to do. It does it well. As far as the specs, I'm not sure if it'll pump up five car tires. Um, I think it might though. I did not charge this and I pumped up a truck tire. We still have one bar. I have not charged it at all. So a truck tire is probably the equivalent of two, I would imagine, car tires, close to it, one and a half. And it didn't seem to have a problem. Again, I'm not sure if it's gonna pump up all five of them, but when are you gonna pump up five car tires without charging it? I mean, this is gonna be typically an emergency situation or gonna be great for bikes. I'm gonna use it for a lot of the bikes in here, the motorcycles. Now my mountain bike and my road bike are Presta valves. My wife's are also Presta. My BMX is a regular Schrader and so are the motorcycles. But I would have liked to have had a Presta valve adapter, that little copper or that little brass piece. I thought, well, maybe that's what that is, but it, it's just an adapter. It's not for that. I was trying to get it to work and you can kind of get it to work, but it's not what it's for. Now, we'll post an Amazon link located below the video in the description. Right now, these are $79.99 on Amazon, but there is a $35 off coupon. 
I don't know if everybody has this, I would imagine so, but when you go to look at it, there's a coupon for $35 off, which brings it to like $48. I think it's worth the $79.99 because I actually have one that I'm using in my truck, I think that was $120, and it's essentially the same thing. It doesn't have the light though. And it is available on Prime, so you can get it in two days. That looks like they have a black and orange model as well. This is the black and red. And actually, you get a $54 coupon for the black and orange, which brings it close to the same price. And you can get that one overnight. So that's going to wrap it up. Feel free to post any questions or comments. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, thanks for watching.